Hi, it's me. It's been a few days for, for some of you. Um, on a business standpoint, a lot of you guys have talked to me in the past few days. That's why, hence the voice. Um, I just wanted to touch base. I've had no uh, Paul slash whore videos put up in a few days, and you're probably like, what's wrong? Did her pimp pull her back? No, no hard feelings. Actually, it was a blessing. I told everybody um, it was, and I met some of the most amazing people because of the horrible 30 days that I spent in hell. I skyrocketed to heaven, and uh, you know, I always tell my artists or my friends or whoever, you know, everybody wants to reach the top of a ladder, but you got to do those bottom rings, or you're not going to get there. And man. Yeah, I was at the bottom rung for a couple of days, but holy shit, am I at the top of that ladder now? And I have one special dirty little whore to thank for that because, and I say that with love, and I mean this too, I met one of the best artists and his family that I am blessed to know. She didn't have a big part in it, but she was an integral piece of the puzzle. Also, my chief operations <laughs> officer um, is someone I met through her that uh, is a blessing. So everybody's having a bad time right now. Trust me, y'all know I went through a bad time myself. I lost my dad. I lost this. I lost that. Uh, you have to go through those bad times. And I have a great, great friend slash future wife slash probably future ex-wife and then wife again named Stephanie. Um, she's a psychologist. Uh, she deals mostly and pretty much primarily with musicians and, and uh, celebrities and whatnot. If any of you guys in the music business need somebody, she's amazing. She's based in Toronto. But she does Skype sessions as well. Um, she really, uh, she's helped me a lot actually in, in a short period of time. Talking to somebody who's like-minded, you know, everyone thinks I'm crazy and I'm probably right. But I'm pretty, um, my insanity is based in sanity, if that makes sense. And I'm not trying to be like a rapper. But, um, and she's the same way. So it's cool because I feel validated. At least she has a degree that says she's, she's entitled to her opinion. I have degrees that don't really have to do with that, but by uh, osmosis or whatever, I feel somewhat validated. And uh, not that I need validation, but it's nice when a psychotherapistic, sexual, Carrie Underwood looking, gorgeous, beautiful, nice, sweet person validates you. It's not a bad thing. Having said that, oh, it's funny though, when I, when I talk to her, it looks like a pop up. When she first comes up on chat, it's like a pop-up for you want to, you think it's a porn site? She doesn't look slutty, but she's too beautiful for words. I'm not talking about you, Stephanie, so don't get, no, I'm kidding. Hi, Rachel. Anyways, um, having said that, stop, enough. Back to reality. Um, I just wanted to send a really quick message of positivity and love to everybody because, listen, you guys have always been there for me, all my friends. Um, Facebook, I used to hate Facebook. I used to like MySpace. I'm sorry, I kind of want to bring it back. I do, but having I used to think like Facebook would give me hepatitis or whatever if I used it too much. Um, but it's kind of a really powerful tool. And the, uh, the more I'm unavailable to take phone calls and when I'm in a meeting or when we're at a show or whatever, um, Facebook has been an amazing tool. So I thank you, Facebook creator Zuckerberg. What up to because uh, he's watching my video right now because all he does is sit there and like, what is this person doing today? Like, like like um but i want to thank everybody who's always been so consistent reaching out to me and uh you know a lot of times i'm not the easiest person to reach by telephone um and a lot of times i don't even check my voicemails to be honest but a text works but the facebook thing is great so thanks everybody who's always stayed in touch right now i have the more support and love than i've ever had mariah in la pdr talent west think about it what we talked about last night i'll be out there next week or next month and uh there's no reason for it not to happen now. For whatever reason, you know, I was real sad about my dad's passing and everybody knows how hard it was. I'm a mama's boy, daddy's boy till the day I die and damn proud of it. But um, it took a while for me to really justify two things in my life. One was my brother and his wife lost a baby at two years old. And while I can't justify why God would take a child, all I could say is it was one of his most purest and beautiful angels that he has up there. And my dad, um, it's hard for me to lose my dad and process it and get through it and you know, I may or may not have done it in the right way by holding off for a while and then letting go. But now I know that, you know, as much as I, I've been a part of my parents' life since the day I was born, 
a lot of times I would travel or I was on the road or I was doing fun stuff or crazy stuff or whatever. And I'd call my mom and dad every day. But now, more than ever, I realize that my dad's been in my life every second since he's been gone. And the success that I'm having now, which came, it seems like it came out of nowhere to a lot of people, but it's been a project of mine since I was a kid, sitting in the back row, wishing I was in the front row, getting backstage, and, uh, and now I'm orchestrating it with the most amazing people I'm so blessed to have. And I know um, it's my dad and every artist that I'm lucky enough to work with and call a friend, that I'm lucky enough to manage, they all have somebody in their life just like a loss, like my dad. And I know it's this. We're being pushed together. And I'm saying this because there's somebody out there right now and I know you're hurting and I know you reached out to me and I was there for you and I know you still are hurting. But do me a favor. Go to Ricky Rebel. It gets better on Facebook. I know it's a cliche statement and a lot of the celebrities are doing it. Lady Gaga started it. Please watch Ricky Rebels. Anybody who's felt they've been treated different or life is tough or you want to give up because right now you're about to feel the rebel invasion and I keep saying it and you think it's cheesy but guess what when you turn on your TV and you see Ricky Rebel in this ugly face when you're on tour with some of your biggest artists and you see Ricky come on that stage and you see me in the pit throwing passes at you guys you'll know why it does get better and when you watch Ricky Rebel's video you'll know it does get better and, and he's living proof so am I all of us are so if anybody's going through shit and you know who I'm talking to, and I'm not going to say your name, but it rhymes with, <laughs> I'm kidding, inbox me. I've got some great resources and uh, I lost somebody to suicide a few months ago and I just opened up to Candace about it for the first time today and nobody really knew about this, but it was somebody incredibly special that just could have talked to someone and it would have made a fucking difference. Everybody makes a difference in everybody's life. Everybody in the, that I'm reaching right now has made a difference in mine. Directly, indirectly, good, bad, and different. We all need to be in this fucking world, in the place we are for whatever reason. But don't forget it. And you know who I'm talking to. It gets better. Ricky Rebel. Check it out. Also, if you're in Orlando, Wednesday night. Jeremy Hagen. My Crazy Crew. Blue Martini. 7 o'clock. Come out and give me a hug. And by hug, I mean alcohol and or other. <laughs> I love you guys. Peace, love, music always.